Hello there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Try New Things where today we're going to try our hands at looking at a few more mystery boxes and buckets that we purchased at a recent auction. Now one of them is something that normally I wouldn't bid on so it's a little bit different but it was labeled as a tub of miscellaneous household items. So kind of anxious to see what's in that but let's get started with the first box. All right here is the first box that I got lot number 848 labeled as miscellaneous box of screws. Now I'll admit I dipped into this this morning because I was building a uh, a little roof for a birdhouse and put to use some screws from this uh, this tub. Full, sorted, I think that's that's fantastic. Can't remember what I paid for the bin itself. Probably around 10 or 15 dollars. But it looks like we've got Another one that's exactly the same. Yep, exact same. And this one was never opened, so we know it was full. So another thing of screws. Get my trash can. All right, what else we got in here? Electrician screw kit. Okay. So this is a little bit different. What I noticed with this is the screw heads are kind of an almond color and a white color. So when you're putting in the screws for your receptacle, they're color match. So that's pretty neat. What else we got in here? Never opened nitrite O-ring assortment. So that's pretty neat. And we got a bag of half inch stainless steel washers, 26 count, a hex key for something. And the last tub looks like miscellaneous hardware. So we got a bronze hook, another bronze hook, some cabinet hinges. There's a brass hinge, another brass hinge, bronze hinge. Oh, that's one of those little ones that sticks in the little wheels separate to hold your cabinet closed. Some more cabinet hinges. Some more bronze hooks. Some kind of blackish hinges. Oil dip bronze maybe. And yeah, so a bunch of cabinet hinges and brass hooks. So that's a good little box. Not sure where we'll put that to use, but uh, we'll definitely hold on to those. What was this called? Door hooks and hinges. That makes sense. All right, let's get this put away and go on to the next one. Lot number two. Check out this fancy bucket wrap. I think I got my money's worth out of the bucket and the little uh, tool caddy that goes with it. But let's uh, let's go through and see what we've got here. We'll start with the pockets. Some kind of weird knife. I don't know what you would use that for. Anyway, we'll put that to the side. One zip tie. Empty, empty, empty. Screwdriver bit extension. Two drill bits. Looks like a one inch hole saw. Yep, yeah, one inch hole saw. Some rusty snips. Two drill bits. And a Sharpie. That's what we got in the pockets. Let's see what we got inside the bucket itself. Irwin Plumber's Valve Socket Set. Alright, not sure if I'd be able to put that to use, but uh, complete looking kit there. Good woodworking clamp. Got a few of these. Really like these a lot. 
New in the package handyman work gear. I don't know what you're supposed to put in it. I guess I'll have to take it out and find out. Clips to your belt. Plier holder. Metal clip. Pretty neat. Bull nose concrete trowel. This is kind of neat. One of these uh, ratcheting screwdrivers. Never seen a modern one with a plastic handle, but it's pretty heavy. I'm, uh, I'm digging that. Here we got a very rusty uh, large putty knife. That will go in the trash. Cobalt concrete trowel. Heavy duty scraper. That is heavy duty. Sharp edge on it. Another putty knife. What would you call that? A pointer's trowel in between bricks? Scraper. A little chisel. Nice little half inch chisel. Another cobalt trowel. AC Delco. I guess that's a wheel stock or wheel stop. Put that on the ground, stop your car from rolling backwards. It's got a little reflector on the back. Got two of those. And they fold flat. A pair of needle nose pliers. A pair of scissors. And here we got a bunch of zip ties. There's a receptacle. And a bunch of screws that look like they came out of the uh, package. Oh, and a rusty utility knife. That is a different one. All right. Let's get this put away and uh, we'll check the next bucket. All right, our next bucket is a box. So let's uh, let's dig right into it and see what we got. Got a tire iron. Hacksaw. Save the cans for the last. We've got a creative wood burner wood burning pen that will do it all. That's kind of old school. Remember doing that as a kid? Gonna rasp. Sure form from Stanley. Oh! Old school sprinkler. Dunlap. That thing is heavy. I'll have to uh, oil that up and give that a try out, out on the lawn. Like that. What else we got? Round rasp. Uh, power stripper, power paint, and rust off. Faster, cleaner, faster, safer than any other way. Freaking thing looks dangerous. You put that in your drill, stand back, and pull the trigger. Might have to put that to uh, to the test on our our old antique doors that I'm going to have to strip sometime soon. Colonial Tool Company, 1978. All right, what else we got? Is this another electrical engineer? Nope. Electric glue gun. That's kind of cool. Don't have one of those at the shop. Light duty soldering iron. Got a few soldering irons now. Oh, this, what is this? It's an electric soldering gun. Instant heat for the professional home handyman. 
$40 value was on sale for $6 at Bargain Supply. 31 cents for some melting alloy. Might hold on to that one. I'm not sure if that's any better than, than the newer ones. Another rasp. Stanley. What would you say that is for? Is that, uh, could you use that for an oil filter? It's a rubber gripper. Patent pending. Don't know. A little tiny saw. A little coping saw. I just dumped out a bucket of screws, it looks like. What we got here? Magnifying glass with helping hand. Well, sir, check that out. Desperate need of a little oiling, but I like that. I think I'm going to restore that. Oh, I did upset a bucket of screws here. I won't bore you with that. Got some staples and some glue for the glue gun. Fantastic. Oh, and a little uh, utility knife. All right. Let me get this cleaned up and we'll keep going. All right. Just got done cleaning up uh, all those nuts, bolts, and washers. Turned around the box. And maybe this box is the best thing about this box. Somebody had painted a picture on it. You can see here's a dog with a dog house and a dog bone and grass and a tree. And assuming that's a ball or a food dish. Not quite sure, but kind of interesting. Somebody's artwork. Now the other thing that came in that box was two tins of antique hardware. And we've got old brass latches. I'm assuming that goes like that. What else we got in here? Like a broken glass doorknob. Throw that in the trash. But yeah, just miscellaneous hardware that could all be cleaned up and used on future projects. So I'm going to leave those for today. I'm not going to go through them. But we got two large cans of old antique vintage hardware to clean up. All right. On to the last mystery bin. So here is the mystery bin that I'm excited to go through. It was labeled as miscellaneous household items. And right off the bat, I can see it's something completely different for me. So the first thing we've got is a wireless driveway alarm. So I'm gonna give that a try out here at the barn, kind of let you know when somebody's pulling into the driveway. We got a couple light pens pen lights. Uh, we've got some headphones. I'm not sure the type or brand. If you recognize that little skull. A pedometer. We've got some pull string lights that you can install under your cabinet. There's it's like four of them in there. This is all kind of new stuff. Midland. What do we get from Midland? Ooh, some nice walkie-talkies and a compass whistle and a flashlight. It's a nice little kit. Cool. Sharper image knockoff GoPro. Comes with an 8 gig micro SD card. This would be kind of like a realtor's lock, I guess. You would hang this on the doorknob and give somebody the code. Not sure if I got much of a use for that. But maybe. A 
couple Casio solar calculators that work. Tempered glass screen protector. Some unknown iPhone 6. Smoke detector, smoke alarm. Ah, a little Coleman stove. You can put screw this on top of a propane tank and you've got yourself a little Coleman stove. That is pretty cool. Magnetic catches for cabinet. Zip wall zip door. I guess if you're uh, sanding or, or doing drywall in a particular room, you want to keep the dust out of the rest of the house, that would come in handy. USB notebook fan. Plug this into your laptop, give you a breeze. Four pack instant alarms. They look like you put half on a door and the other half not on a door iPad case, lightweight Bluetooth headphones, a little micro towel, some more contact alarms. I've got a uh, power strip. See that? It looks like a little spy cam. A USB spy cam. Not sure about that. We'll have to check that out. Waterproof phone case for when you're kayaking. Another little uh, stove, camping stove. It's a pencil sharpener. That's different. Vibration alarms. Motion sensing alarms, Spanish, English, phrase book and translator, waterproof bag that floats for a phone, another iPad case, not sure how that works, iPad case I'm guessing. Power inverter, cigarette lighter adapter, all kinds of stuff. I paid $15 for this bin. Some brand new work gloves. Motorola, haven't seen anything from them in a while, but uh, headphones. Another driveway alarm. I'm making a mess here. Bluetooth earbuds. Sink and share. Three OTG flash drive, 64 gig flash drive. Okay. Personal alarm. Did you carry? Some more Bluetooth earphones. A little charger. Otter case for an iPhone. Another power inverter. Set of Cobra walkie talkies. And something we don't need more wire brushes. And that's it. Well, folks, that's going to do it for another episode of Try New Things. I uh, found some interesting stuff in those mystery boxes, in particular that one labeled household items. Not quite sure I would have labeled it that way. I guess most of the things can be used for your house, surprised by all the, the motion alarms and that kind of thing. Uh, some really good stuff. Still in the packages, brand new. Looks like I got some Facebook Marketplace work to do. Maybe get some of those posted. See if I can't get uh, a little return on that $15 investment. Anyway, let me know what you found the most interesting find of the day in, uh, in that lot. 
And until next time, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them below along with your favorite item. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for joining. Bye-bye.